Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to my channel. And welcome to Punched Out Thursday to Die For with Kathy, Krista, myself, and Dorothy. And I'm going to be scrapping this picture of my of three of my grandchildren. And I'm going to be using this three-quarter inch punch first. And what I'm going to be making is a worm. <laughs> and actually, it's the one I've made before for a lay layouts. I've done a couple with bookworm on there and it's going to be this exact same thing as the bookworm i'm not going to make it any different because i figure a worm is a worm you know <laughs> and i think he's kind of on the cute side so yeah i'm just going to make him the same way that's a three quarter inch punch and i'm just putting one circle behind the other and only showing about half and i'm not making sure they're all showing the exact same amount some are showing just a little bit more than others because I I like the fact that it's not really super uniform. And I'm going to see right there. I put it against the bottom there. I was trying to oh, see how I'm show, uh, holding it. I'm making sure that those two are on the same level so that when I put him on the scrapbook page, he will fit on there a whole lot better. And I didn't punch enough of these out. I punched about a dozen, but I need a few more. Because I'm going to have his the rest of his body come back up. And I'm just putting enough glue to attach it to the last one. And then the last circle I put on there is going... These all are going behind each one. But the last one's going to go on top because that's going to be his head. And this is a shamrock. It's a Sizzix shamrock die. And I cut out several. And the awesome thing is I got the right amount. I didn't need to cut out any more. I am inking them in. It's a close to my heart ink. And it's um, Clover Meadows. I figured since you know my layout is about four leaf clovers. That I would use that and make. I, and I am making these a brighter green <laughs> than the clover is, but I like this green and it's embossed. So yeah, I like it a lot. And that uh, one right there is half inch and I did them in white and then I'm going to do the black. It's a five eighths inch. So it's just going to be a tiny bit bigger than the white. And those are going to be my little worm's eyes. And see his head up there? They're about as big as his head. And the bookworm, it, you know, I, I always loved the cartoons with the bookworm on there. He was so cute. He had these big old eyes. Well, I'm going to have the big old eyes too. And I'm making the little pupil now, and it's a quarter inch. And I'm just going to put them there in the middle. And I'm not going to get them quite all the way over. I'm leaving a little gap of the white. But they're going to be close to the middle. And this is a teardrop punch. And it's pretty small, but it's going to work pretty good for this. And I'm going to just put it right there. It's kind of going to look like a nose, but he's really, it's really his mouth. Because I'm not going to have a nose. <laughs> I thought about it, and then I decided I'm just going to have a mouth. Since his eyes were so big on his head. Um. That is a Martha Stewart branch punch. And y'all know I like to leave a tuft of hair on the top. Well, the one on the uh, dragonfly was going to be too big. So I decided to use that branch and just cut a little piece of it off. Here, I remembered I still need to ink him. I thought about inking each and every one of those little circles. And I thought, well, if it don't work, <laughs> I can just take him apart and go ahead and ink them. But it worked all right. I, 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 I thought he worked just fine just getting ink on the outside. And my little tuff of hair is not going to dry out. I did it pretty quick. And it still had the glob of glue on there. So it's just going straight on to the head. And then I'm going to take the dragonfly punch. And I punched four of them out, I think it is, to start with. I'm going to take the tail of the dragonfly for his antenna. And I'm going to do one on each side of his little tuft of hair. And I have two more there, and I'm going to be using them too. And that poor dragonfly, 
I have hardly ever used him as a dragonfly. He's been used for so many other things. And I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to hold it close to the camera so you can see. I am cutting one wing and then the tail. And this time, one wing and then the tail. And it's going to make an arm where his arm's bent at the elbow because I'm going to have him holding the shamrock. And oh, here I'm chewing part of the shamrock up. And so it looks like he's chewing on it because that picture up there is my grandkids and they're hunting for a four-leaf clover. And they hunted quite the while. And they never did find any. Reagan gave up first and she ended up picking some dandelions for me. So I got a bouquet out of the deal, but they didn't get anything. And I told them I never found a four-leaf clover either. I don't know how people do it. I said, I think uh, the bugs eat them all that they want to be lucky too. So they eat all the four-leaf clovers. And these bugs are eating three-leaf clovers, but, you know, I didn't have a four-leaf one. I could have made one. You can make one if you don't have a shamrock die out of three hearts or four if you want a four-leaf clover and then just make a stem. But since I had this die and I've had it so long and of course I never get enough use out of it, I decided I wanted to go ahead and use the die because I plan on having so many on my page. But yeah, you can take three hearts and glue them together and make a little stem and it turns out really cute too. And oh, this paper here is uh, Echo Park mistletoe something, but it came in the warehouse uh, box that I got way back in December. And I didn't use any till recently, and I'm loving it. I might run out because I've been using it so much. I am going to layer my picture the matting behind it with three different colors white the green that's for the shamrocks and then a green that's the same color as as a stripe and the reason i wanted that stripe is because it kind of reminded me of the grass that they're sitting on but i didn't want the whole page done with it so i did it at an angle and i'm going to angle my shamrocks up the side there and cover the place where the two pieces are together and i did plan on harvesting <laughs> some of the white behind there but i forgot so it's gonna stay there i guess because i i doubt if i go ahead and try to pull it off now that i glued it all down i am putting some of these shamrocks straight onto the play page and then some on foam tape and i wanted the stems to show plus the shamrock so they're going in different direction but you can see where that one is sticking out there on the white and it has a heart shape so that's why the heart shape works so good and i have done that before but it's been a long time i'm going to use the happy day letters and it's going to say where have all the four leaf clover gone and then, of course, obviously, <laughs> these little worms are eating them all. And there, there's the other two. And see how well they sit there? And it's because the head's kind of tilted back, I think. And so the shamrock's up just a little bit higher. And this is a grass that I cut by hand. Um, super, super easy to cut. And I did cut it out of here because I was trying to make my layout my video a little shorter and I have done them so many times on my layouts that you can always look at another video and see cutting it by hand but you can cut it just about any way and it still turns out great for your layout because it's grass I mean grass grows in every direction so as long as you cut it it's going to go in there and I'm just tucking these little worms part of it, the worms going to be behind the greenery Part of it's going to be in front. And then I'm throwing the extra shamrocks in here too. So I'll be sure and use them all. And see that one on the picture? I'm going to use it too. But uh, I'm going to forget about it. And then I'll go to pick my layout up to take it up to the camera and see it. Oh, well, here's where I said I put him on the photo. I had that plan to start with. And then when I put him on here, I forgot all about it. And see how white that sky is? I thought that was just too white. And I knew it was kind of 
representing the sky. So I am using this chalk ink. And it's just called sky and I'm just thinking around it a little bit. So it looks like there's some clouds there and some blue. But that's it. That's my layout. Be sure to check the other gals out and see what they created this week with their punches and their dies. Their links will be down there below. And if you leave a comment, I'll get back with you. And if you are, if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you are, thank you so much. But yeah, aren't those little worms cute? I got them from cartoons because you only have the big eyes. <laughs> but have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.